Hi, thanks for watching Sibelius Tutorials. I'm Josh, and in this video, I explain how to control third party library key switches in Sibelius. In this example, I'm using the East West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra Gold Library with the East West Sound Set from SoundSetProject.com. And I'll be creating a key switch staff for the solo violin that will allow me to easily take advantage of all the key switches in this instrument. To explain key switches, some library instruments have key switches which allow you to hop between articulations for certain instruments. Here's the solo violin instrument loaded from play, and notice how the lower octaves the keys are colored. These control the different articulations, allowing a player to get a more realistic playback of the instrument. What we are going to do is create a custom staff inside of Sibelius to control the key switches for this instrument. Let's go ahead and begin. Here, I already have the East-West Quantum Leap house style loaded, and I added a solo violin instrument and have already loaded my samples. You can do this with any instrument that has key switches available. For this example, I'm going to be going over making a key switch staff for the solo violin to keep this tutorial as short as possible. So in Sibelius, first, you're going to click on Home and go to Edit Instruments. In this window, Find the instrument you loaded that has the key switches. I have a solo violin, so this is in the strings family. Once you find this, highlight it and press New Instrument. You will be asked if you want to create a new instrument based off of the instrument selected. Say yes. In this new instrument window, here is where we start building our custom key switch staff. In the upper left, First, I'm going to add chaos to the name so that way I can easily recognize this in the score as a key switch staff. Next, this is optional, but I like to go ahead and click edit staff type and change the staff size to small. This way the staff is smaller than your regular instrument staffs. Next, set the sounding pitch clef to null. On the right side, at the top, you want to set the range of the key switches. Looking at this instrument loaded in play, the key switches start at C1. When looking at this keyboard in play, C1 starts here, and then here's C2, C3, C4, and so on. Our key switch starts at C1 and ends at A2. So in the range selection, the lowest range it has to be set to C1, and since the highest key switch is at A2, set the high one to A2. This makes it so that the note turns red when there is no key switch available for that key. If your instrument has more than one key switch, in this case you would simply create a separate key switch staff for a separate key switch section. Below this section, I want to make sure that the keys are on the staff and not way above the staff or way below. Since the lowest key switch starts at C1, I'm going to set this to C1 as well for both transposing and non-transposing. After that, click OK. In Edit Instruments, this still needs to be added to a family. So find the key switch staff that you created, highlight it, and move this into a family that you can find when adding instruments. Back in the score, add the new key switch instrument. Press I, and now you will see your new key switch staff in the instrument of the family that you added it to. When I now add notes into my key switch staff, notice this is affecting the key switches as shown here. Let's go ahead and add some notes and show our key switches in action. Hmm? 
Once you added your key switches, you can simply hide the key switch staffs by selecting all of the staves that are not key switch staffs and using the focus on staffs feature in Sibelius. Thanks again for watching this tutorial. If you own the East-West Quantum Leap Symphonic Orchestra Gold Library and you would like to use the key switch staffs used in this tutorial, please find a download link in the description. I have created a custom key switch staff for all the key switch instruments for this library. Simply install this into the House Styles folder for Sibelius and you can use this workflow as well. Also make sure to like and subscribe to receive updates anytime new tutorials are released. I'm Josh and I'll see you next time.